Hey guys, Lunar here, and welcome to the second modern road tutorial I'm doing. Um, the last tutorial was just for like a main road through a city, or it didn't have much detail to it. But this one is for like a suburb area, so you can see I have a, one of my modern houses here, and I've dug out where the road will be. It's going to be pretty wide; it's 45 wide, so you'll have to find somewhere where you can build a road that's 45. It's pretty much the same as the other one, but it's uh, it's double, double road, and there's a lot of trees and things. So I'm just going to get started. The things you will need are um, light grey wool, and just like the other road tutorial, you'll need spruce wood slab, um, spruce wood planks, stone slab, you're gonna need stone brick stairs, and for the road you're gonna use bedrock glowstone. I think that's it just now, we're gonna add in trees and grass and things, but we'll do that later. So first of all, right on the very edge, you're gonna have a line of light grey. Obviously I'm not going to build this whole road in the tutorial. I'll just build like part of it going across here and then I'll build the rest of the road and then I'll skip to the end in the video so you don't have to watch me build it so you can see the final result. So you're going to build light grey and then, oh I'm missing something, cobblestone. So you're going to have light grey and then you're gonna have cobblestone then another layer of cobblestone and then light grey and the whole point of it that you've kind of got like a, a little path that goes around the entire like suburban house of your building suburban houses and then you have the main path then the road so after the side path here you're gonna have three wide of grass. So one, two, three. And this area will, uh, this little bit will have trees and things on it. So now it's gonna be spruce wood planks. Like that. And like we did before, it's gonna be uh, spruce wood slab on top of that, so it's raised up by one. And then you're gonna have one, two, three. Three layers of stone brick slab. And then another spruce wood plank with spruce wood slabs on top, like this. And remember, you don't need to fill under here because, well, you can if you wish, but in mine, you dig down here and this is going to be like, like sewers is under here. And if you want to know how to do that you can check out my previous road tutorial. So from here, right, we have one, one path done. Facing this direction you're going to put in your stair, your stone stairs. Like that. And now we're onto the road. So it's going to be seven wide for one road, with the glowstone in the middle. So we can make the glowstone five, like one, two, three, four, five, like that. So there's three bedrock on either side of it. So one, two, three, like that. And then obviously the other side of the road we need another stone brick stair. Like that. Now this is where the difference will be from the last road tutorial because this will be just the middle of the road and it's going to be grass block. And then we'll have another road and then there will be 
the other the other path there. So you need three gla grass blocks. And then we're gonna have another road. So we'll start with our stone bricks there. And then seven of our bedrock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. And then we can one, two, three, four, five of our glowstone. And now we just have to repeat what we've done over there, so... Uh, what way am I putting this? That way. So, stair. Sprucewood plank. With sprucewood slab on top. Three... Stone brick slabs. Or you could make them whatever slabs you want to make them. This is the colours I'm going with. Stone slab, just stone slab. And then spruce wood slab with planks underneath again. And then we have a layer of three grass blocks. And then our white path again with the cobblestone. So cobblestone, light grey. Right, other way around. Light grey, then cobblestone. Light grey, cobblestone. Cobblestone, and light grey. Okay, that is our road finished. It doesn't look that exciting right now, but I'm going to quickly fill in all the way to the end, and then we'll add in some more details. Alright, I've spent the last 20 minutes filling this in or so. Um, just in case you were wondering, the uh, the white lines are five wide, but they have a space of three. Um, you can make them wherever you think looks best, but I have this because it'll determine where the trees will be placed. So it kind of works out nice, as you'll find out in a second. All right, we'll add some more details into this. Uh, we're going to add in trees and grass, and we're going to add in some crossings as well. So, you're going to need spruce wood slabs again, and stone slab. You will also need glowstone, and trees. I'm going to use jungle trees, and oak sapling, and you will need bone meal. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add in a couple of crossings. I'm going to add in one here and one at the other side. So for the crossing, we're going to have our, our white lines like this going across the road. Just a pretty typical one. It's what you'd see on most roads and what most people do for roads in Minecraft. So I'm just going to add in the glowstone here. I like the glowstone for the the white lines on the road because I'm not really a big fan of having uh, street lights of any kind. And this lights up the, the whole area at night. So you can add in one there. Obviously in your city you can add them where you need them. But here I'm just going to uh, place them here to show you where, what they'll look like. So, right, those are going to be our crossings. So I'm going to take spruce wood and place it on right there. So it's in line with white lines. And then I'm going to place stone slab like that. So it leads up to the road where you cross. And then on the other side, I'm going to do the same for the path. So I'm going to line that up like that. I'll make it one less. Line up like that. So you know where the crossings are if you're on this path here. I'm actually going to take light grey wool and cobblestone. 
and just do the same. Just gonna join it up to the path. Like that. So you know where the crossings are if you're on this path. So I'm just gonna do the same to the other side. So where the end of the glowstone is. Just place a spruce wood plank. And then you can fill it in with stone brick. Or a stone slab. Two there. Fill that in with stone slab. And we can get rid of this. Um, like that. So that is one crossing. We can then place do the same for the middle. I'm just going to place a middle part there like that. Just really simple. So now you can see that's the crossing. And the whole reason why I have a space of three between five white lines is because this is this middle block will be where we'll place each tree. So it'll be one there. And then the next tree will be on the middle block again, which will be there. So that way your trees can never be in the way of where your crossings will be on your on your road. So I'll just quickly do this side and then we can add in all the trees. We're gonna add in jungle trees for the middle. And then we can add in sprucewood trees for the sides. And then we can add in lots of uh, grass and flowers and whatever you want to add in. So we can just quickly do this. Okay, right, we've added in our crossings. Now all we have to do is add in our trees. I'm going to um, do it the way I said, so in the middle block between each of the, the white lines. So there should be three if you follow the tutorial. Then this middle block will be where you can place your jungle tree in the middle of the uh, the grass in the central part of the road here. So we find the middle block again, which is this one, and then in the middle of the grass. So that'll be the space in between each tree. And you can just do that all the way along. You don't have to uh, use jungle trees, but I use them because they, they always grow quite tall. And you want to be able to see both parts of the road. Whereas the, uh, the spruce wood trees sometimes can get quite low down. So I'm just going to do the same here. They're just going to match up with the trees. It's over there. Like that. You can add in more. Since you don't have crossings here, you can add in more of these trees. And they don't have to... Uh, if you've added in your crossing first, then you can just place them wherever you want. So I'm just going to match these up, and then I will quickly grow them all with bone meal, yeah.
Okay, once you've planted them all, you can wait for them to grow, or you could start growing them with bone meal. Obviously, if any of them are too low down, like this one, you can regrow it, or you can just get part, get rid of some of it to so it doesn't block your path. So again, okay, I'm just gonna quickly go around and grow all these. Okay, well, this is your road almost finished. Um, you can add in lots of uh, grass and stuff on this grass areas here. I think it looks better than just keeping it plain. And then you can obviously go around and add in some torches beside these trees because it can be quite dark, which isn't a problem really for creative, but if you're playing on survival, then obviously creepers and things are going to start spawning in this area. So I'll actually go around and place a torch quite close to all of these trees. Uh, maybe I'll place them in the middle. Like that. Yeah, that looks good. So you can go around. This will be... the middle will be in line with the middle part of your, your white line on your road. And then you can fill it in with some grass and things. And then that'll be your road finished. So I'll just quickly do that. And then we can take a look to see what the final road looks like. Alright guys, that is your final road for your suburb area. You can have houses on either side. I'm not too sure how well you can see that, so I'll go to uh, I'll quickly go to sleep. So you can see what it looks like in the day as well. But I really like this road. This will be the road that I'll use for my uh, modern city, for the, the suburbs. And let's see, we'll go to sleep. that's what it looks like so guys if you like the tutorial don't forget to like subscribe and comment on it and I will see you in my next video